All right, so this is part three, uh, which is the final conclusion to this whole Hyundai brake line recall thing that I went through. So I'm just trying to help any of you all out who are going through this or uh, haven't quite gone through this yet, but are going to be going through it in order to get the brake lines redone uh, under the uh, transportation recall and or you've already paid to have the work done and you're waiting to get reimbursed. So I had taken my car. If you haven't seen the videos I've done previously, I did explain that. I didn't realize that Hyundai, uh, the dealership, had already done the work on my car. I thought it was a separate thing, but they assured me that it was not. It is it, Everything that they did with the vehicle fell under that same recall. So I had to then wait to get a reimbursement, which was a lot of going through hoops. So I was told a couple weeks after uh, Hyundai, my Hyundai dealership submitted uh, the information that I should uh, receive a phone call or some communication in regards to, uh, you know, being able to go just pick up the check. Well, that's not what happened. <laughs> so two weeks after I sent my car in, uh, I did go on the uh, Hyundai owner's website, uh, doo -doo -doo, which is one second which is here uh, so with that uh, I noticed here 2023-0505 it stated that the work was already complete I had not received any money as of yet for that uh, so I was a little perturbed to say the least in regards to they say they already did it I haven't seen anything nobody's reached out to me so what exactly is going on here this is not cool at all not cool uh, just to show you there we go so this bottom line here complete 2023 this was the recall so yeah, obviously I was, uh, you know, a little, what on earth is going on here? This is not making any sense. So I contacted uh, Hyundai Canada asking like, what on earth is going on here? And uh, they told me that they had not received any of the forms that, from my dealership. So then I contacted the dealership. The dealership said they sent the forms. They don't know why Hyundai Canada is saying that they haven't received anything. So anyway, they had to go back and forth. Eventually, they figured it out. Okay, everything seemed to be good. Then I get an email from the service manager saying that Hyundai wanted, uh, what was it? Let me see here quick. Hyundai's responded to the claim, and they have a request before they will proceed further. They're asking for a picture of the current mileage on the vehicle and a picture of the VIN plate inside the driver's door frame. I thought that was kind of weird because um, I don't know why they needed the current mileage. It should have been the mileage from when the vehicle was actually brought in. But that's what they wanted. Okay, you know, who am I to argue? So sent that over to them. No problem. Uh, and I was it was explained that everything over a certain dollar amount requires these pictures. Uh, that's why they're required. However, the service manager agreed with me that it shouldn't be the current mileage because, I mean, it had been months since I had taken my car in. So it should have been the mileage from when I first took the car in for the brake issue that I was having, right? So anyway, uh, that was on July 17th. And then on July 19th, I get another email from the service manager. Now Hyundai's requesting a signature on a document for goodwill to move forward. So I had to go into the dealership and literally just sign my name on a piece of paper. Then uh, to do on August 4th. So I signed that form on July uh, 19th. August 4th, I finally get an email saying that everything is good. I can come pick up the check. So that is how long it actually took for all of this to actually go through. Um, you know, this whole thing had actually started on June, sorry, July 17th. Uh, Actually, wait, no, sorry, July 
17th, so it was a couple weeks, be- yeah, a couple weeks before July 17th is when this all started. So that's how long it actually took for me to get reimbursed. Uh, so we're looking at approximately eh, almost almost a month, uh, a month something, somewhere around there, uh, but of continuously being on top of it and reaching out, contacting Hyundai Canada, contacting contacting the dealership, going back and forth, supplying all the documents that they wanted, um, you know, and then contacting them again, wondering what's going on, just constantly following up. Eventually it did actually happen, but then of course my luck, the moment I got the reimbursement, the wiper transmission on my car failed, it seized. So I had to take that same money I just received and dump it right back into the car again. So, I got no further ahead, but this is uh, what I actually had to go through in regards to getting all this uh, ironed out with Hyundai uh, and Hyundai Canada, and I did actually get reimbursed, so it is actually for real. And that's it for this video. Just wanted to give a follow-up. This is the conclusion, and uh, there you have it. So if you like the video, leave a like. If you have not already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. If you have any questions or comments about this, leave them down below. Um, And if you want to support the channel, then info is down at the bottom of the description. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go. You'll see me on my next video. I'm out.